Hello, people. Welcome back again for another knit vlog from I, April, Terry. I'm not wearing any knitting, but in just a second, I will be with my FO for this week. Yep, that's right, this week. I finished it in three days. No, two days. I started on March 29th and I finished it on March 31st. It's a very quick, easy knit and it is free. I will try to put the link at the bottom of this video. Keyword try. All right, just a second. Hold on, just give me a second. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Y'all, this is the Notting Hill. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> ah, it looks so good on camera. Oh, wow. She is giving me all the spring Easter egg vibes. Okay. Call me an Easter egg. Yum. <laughs> I, I love it. I finished this, like I said, very quickly because it is a US 9, which is, oh God, where's my phone? Okay, so this is a US 9, which is a 5.5 millimeter, and a US 6 for the ribbing, which is a 4.0. A oh, four millimeter. I'm gonna get these millimeters, girl. You ain't gonna get me. Okay. The yarn, baby. The yarn. The yarn was 30% off at Hobby Lobby. And it is the Yarn Bee Authentic Hand Dyed Vivid. And the colors L is for lemon. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just so. It just brings me so much joy. Okay, and then the pink is called Neon Watermelon. You see how it changes though? Do you see how it changes with... Okay, so my son in his room has one of those lights that sh um, illuminates the stars in the... on this. It's a projector basically. But when it... <laughs> It's like it gives off, um, like when you're in the club and the neon. <laughs> it it does that. Oh my gosh, it's just awesome. You know what I'm talking about. I don't know my words. What is English? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is just so great. Okay, so the color work. This is a pattern that a pat pattern. Adam, if you, um. I cannot tell you guys a good so many good things about this. This is a good pattern for a beginner, for someone who wants to dive into some color work. This is a slip stitch um, technique, but it still has floats. The whole thing, except for you know the parts like this, which is just a whole knit row. So when you're doing a slip stitch technique you are only using one color at a time so you're not having to hold two colors it's just one color each row i did size one and i used two and just a little bit of a third skein with the yellow and only a little bit of the pink so I only had to buy one skein of that highly recommend it Notting Hill Notting Hill what is her name yeah yeah there we go all right so that's that. <laughs> These are the yarns that I used in cake form. 
look at that. You see all the different colors? When I saw them, this was my main inspiration. I really wanted a yellow. And I was like, you know, I really want to do some color work because I had, what did I, did I finish anything? No, I didn't, I hadn't finished anything, but I just really wanted to cast on something quick. And it, this was just, it was in my library and I've, I've had it for a long time and I really wanted to do it. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, yes, I'll take it. And it was 30% off and I had a gift card for $25. But the thing is, I couldn't find the gift card when I was in the register until it was too late. So, where? Oh, that was a gift card. Hobby Lobby fell. <laughs> but in the end, it came out okay. So, no worries. So, that is the Notting Hill. I think I'm done. And now we can move on to whips. <laughs> I've only worked on one whip since my last episode my last episode i i had a lot i had a lot going on but i've been zoning in on like kind of one project at a time until i finish it so this is the one that is going to be finished today today is a day where i have no husband until he gets off work and my son is with our son, our son <laughs> is with my mom for the weekend. So this is going to be a knitting extravaganza day. And that is why I'm doing this video and I'm gonna show you where I'm at with this dress. Just a second. <laughs> okay, so this is the back side of this. I was afraid that my tension was not going to be um, good, so I blocked it early, and it came out okay. But you really do have to pay attention to how tight or how loose you are pulling the yarn when you're doing any type of color work. I think it looks pretty cool. But the whip, the whip, the whip. This is the only whip that I have made the most gain and progress on. And I'm going to double check that on my handy dandy Ravelry app called Rabbit. I go to my notebook and I have all my whips. And the ones that I've been working on the most are usually at the top. And this is, yep. This is her. She is the cutest. I have finished with the front. So she's not gonna be a maxi, she's gonna be a short babe. And this I'm hoping is going to block out just fine. This is Pima Cotton. I have the label. From my yarn shop around the corner. Hey, Teresa. It feels so good. And the drape is actually, it's not that crazy stiffness. Okay, example, this, you see how stiff this, this top is? This is that cotton that is on a cone that you can purchase at Walmart. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What is it, sugar, peaches and cream? cotton that you just want to use for a dishcloth not for clothing but i i did it anyway it softens up a little bit over time but it's always going to have this just stiff vibe about it but this is giving me different it's giving me different 
and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I am in the middle of a row. I'm going to finish this today. I'm excited. I'm going to turn on some TV. We're going to sit on that couch. We're going to drink our tea and we're going to be happy and at peace. Yes. Please join me. Join me. Also, I'm lying. I did cast on something else. I just did not put it in my Ravelry yet because it is brand new. It is a brand new baby. She is the Rizzo. Let me, let me, let me show you, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me put up my, pull up, pull up. My lovely app. Other app that I use is the Knit Companion. Can you see it? It's the Rizzo. I'm trying to find the best. There you go. Rizzo blouse by Poison Girls. It's gonna be so cute and I'm using one of my favorite colors. One of my favorite colors. I'm gonna show you. This is living in <laughs> my lovely hoagie bag. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wouldn't mind getting another one of these. Uh, even though I don't need it. <clears throat> I should tell my husband, though. Gift. Gift. Yes. <laughs> this. Also from Hobby Lobby. Another one of the hand-dyed um, yarns. I have the label. I have the label. Since I'm using... Oh, I don't... I really don't want to take the label out of here. I really need to write this stuff down. Oh, if I take this out, I'm really going to have to record it. I have to record this. <laughs> oh, it's being difficult. Don't. Don't turn it off. Okay. You see me turn it off? Plush Blush. That's such a cute name. I like it. You see the price? It was 30% off. I was down with it and it just told me it needed to be the Rizzo blouse and that's what I did. <laughs> so you start off with one shoulder and then you start off with the other shoulder, um, which is something that I have done in um, another pattern from uh, Lily Kate. So I automatically know this is going to fit nicely because I like that. Sh I like that shoulder construction. I'm excited to see. Oh, it feels wonderful. It is super wash merino, by the way, both of them. So if you do not like super wash, then you know another yarn will be suitable for these but this is so pretty i'm excited i started this when i was waiting for my jeep to get fixed yesterday i i had to ask the guy to go into my jeep that was still being fixed if he could please go get my knitting bag that was in the passenger seat on the floor <laughs> he was looking at me like a what it's a little leather bag on the floor it has yarn in it and i get it <laughs> he's like i'll get it so he gave it to me i was so happy because i had ran out of yarn <laughs> i know i'm a crazy fiend i had ran out so i needed i needed a re-up <laughs> so i just started that but i'm going to finish this today um the next thing that I wanted to go over with y'all is I went, like I said, to Hobby Lobby, purchased things. And along with that purchase, I bought these buttons. Look at these sew on toggle buttons. I bought three of them. And I'm going to stick it on that alley jacket that 
I'm gonna go get it. I wanna see, I haven't actually put it up to next to each other, let's see. Okay, so this is the LA jacket by Brandy, Brandy Harper from Knitting for Radicals. And the jacket she's wearing is this one. Okay. So in the the pattern, of course, it does not call for buttons. But oh, look at that. I wear a shawl pin normally um, here, and it, it works out perfectly when it's closed. So yeah. Now the thing is, question. I wonder if anybody's gonna answer this. Should I do just one or should I do the three? I'm thinking just one though, or two, two, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I wonder if anybody will. But yeah, that's um, one thing that I bought. I also bought, which is one of the main reasons why I even went to Hobby Lobby and came out with yarn and made a sweater, <laughs> was elastic. I needed elastic that would fit inside this casing. So what I've done, I have not sewn this down or made anything permanent but right now I have stuck the elastic in the casing and just have it pinned right now because I am still trying to decide if this is the right tightness because once this is sewn down it's sewn down I'm not picking this back out so Baby girl better watch what she eat and control herself because I want to wear this dress for the rest of my life. <laughs> it is so, I'm just, wow. I told Teresa at the yarn shop around the corner that I was going to make a dress with that yarn that I picked up and it came to life. It is here. Say what you mean and mean what you say. This is great. Okay. Anyway, so th those are the things that I purchased at Hobby Lobby that I plan on putting on some knits and that I've already put in some knits. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you all about was, uh, I don't know if anybody would care to see, but how to put these on your eye cord. I'm gonna do one little demonstration real quick because I really want this done because I think it would look really, really cute. All right, so I have stuck the metal piece onto the eye cord first, pull it through, and then I grab the other part of this shoelace enclosure and push it on till you can slide it in there and just pull it in there. Push. Bam. Done. Isn't that the cutest? This is the Bella Top by LSB Knitwear Designs. This is her on, and there's the top. I think that's one of her daughters. There's her Instagram. Go follow her. She's She makes very um, uh, beginner-friendly knitwear designs that are super cute. I need to make some more of her designs. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Woo. I'm gonna do it again. All right. So the way that I 
if you do this right after you finish making the I chord, before you pull the, I mean, cut the, the string, you can use the string to pull this through. But since I don't have that, I'm going to use a needle and push it through there. Stuff it. Grab it. Bam. Cute. Oh my gosh. So that's that demonstration on how to put metal on your tassels, your eye cord. Ah, that's so cute. Oh yeah, this is going to be super cute. Okay, last thing I want to talk to you guys about. Books. Okay, I've already shown you the Knitting for Radicals book and I talked about that in my last episode. Um, this book, I, wow. I wanted this book only because of one pattern in in particular. And woe is me for not purchasing that pattern before it entered into this book. If I would have gotten that pattern when I saw it that day, instead of waiting, I could have gotten it without having to purchase this whole book. But it's okay. There's other stuff in this book that is cute so i will you know i will get around to it and it's this one isn't it the cute oh gosh it feels so good it's textured it is worsted a knitwear collection by lobby I know, isn't it the prettiest? Do you know what it's gonna be? Let me show you. Look at that. Do you like, it's not gonna be that. That yarn is not going to be this. It's not gonna be this, but look at that. It's so pretty. And it's all worsted. That's like the best part. So this was a DK on a US 9 that I finished in three days. Like, can you imagine a worsted weight? I don't think any of these are US 9, but look at that. So many good things. Let me get to the actual. Let me find her. Where you at, girl? Show yourself all night. Oh, okay. It's called the perennial, and I had it marked. It's because look, I have, and I had it where it needed to go. This is me not paying attention. Okay. On page one fifteen. Let me find a picture I can show you without giving away anything in the book. Look at that. This, that, that, that is going to be my sweater. She will be mine. And she will be in this color. Oh, 
Oh, this is my first ever purchase of La Bienna May yarn that I purchased when I went to Atlanta um, to the yarn shop, yarning, yarning for you. And they had a whole bunch of this that had just came in. It was like I was meant to be there. So me and my son went in there. And he was a good sport while well, I looked around and I purchased my first ever Lombie MA. Koi Worsted. Um, the color Co Colicot. Colicot. So this is 75% Falkland Cordor Cordell and 25% Gotland wool. Who am I? I'm a knitter, people. That's awesome. So that I'm super excited about. I really want to get my whips way down, particularly down into the one number digits. And then I, I will cast on with, with this. It's, I'm excited. Um, the next knitting book. This one is just a fun thing that my niece and my sister-in-law bought. <laughs> I have not knit anything out of this book yet either. But look at the little fish. I love fish. I have, we have a total of five fish, three koi outside and two little beta inside that I, Hi, baby. Look at this. Oh. Anyway, 200 little things. I have ideas, but you know, when will it come to fruition? I don't know. This is the last knitting book I want to show. And the only reason I bought this book is because I saw someone on Instagram had knit a backpack. And I was like, oh my gosh, where, how, tell me. And she said, I'm sorry, it's only in a book. <laughs> it's in a book. Okay, so what's the book? <laughs> this is the book. And the backpack. The backpack. Okay, so and all these things are like plant-based fibers. Look at that hoodie. Looks like a simple, cute hoodie. Oh, there's another knitting book that I purchased that I wanted to show, but this is the backpack. Isn't that adorable? I know. We need the backpack. Everybody needs, everybody needs the backpack. Let me get the other knitting book. Okay, this is the last one. Knitting for Boys by Kate Oates. As y'all all know, I have the cutest son in the entire world. Yes, I'm biased. And I want to make him, you know, all the sweaters, but then there's that, you know, that selfish part of my knitting that wants to kick in and I have to be like girl could be selfish but there is the one that okay I think I really wanted to get this because it had pants in there and then of course that cable oh and a hoodie it had in there that I really wanted let me see if I can show show this but it just has the gauge so those are shorts, pants. I would I would make them pants for him. Ooh, what is the gauge on this? It's a US six, US seven, or four millimeter, four point five. Oh, I could knit that up, and it's on worsted weight. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this is a fun little book if you have 
if you have sons. And look at this. Oh, the rags in the back. But I love knitwear. So yeah, those are all my knit books that I wanted to show. The other books that I had were not knitting related, but my mom got me this book and it is pretty neat. If you like plants, I love plants. And if it were up to me, there would probably be a whole lot more plants in this house than there already are. But I live with a husband <laughs> and a son, so it's not all about me. But if it were, <laughs> this is what my house would look like. <laughs> it's so pretty. But this book talks about all, like, how to style and care for your plants. Look at that. So my mom, bless, I love her. She knows, she knows me well. And she got me that book. My best friend for, was it my 29th birthday? I wish I would have wrote in here. When she got this book, but if you are into self-help, positivity, it's been a real um, eye opener and just helps you to remember negative talk will only get you in a negative space like your mind is a powerful thing powerful thing okay and if you feed your mind with negativity constantly or if you think about that negative thought i'm ugly or i can't do this and you continually think about that even for 17 seconds you're just going to continue down that route. Stop it right there. As soon as you think about that thought, hit yourself. I don't know. Get back into this present moment. Get out of whatever crap you're thinking about that's not helping you or anybody else. You know what I mean? Okay. Self-help books. Get into it. If you're not into reading, reading, you know, there's Audible, Audible or any other type of service that re uh, can read you the books. But yeah, those are my main things. I just wanted to come on here real quick so that I wouldn't come on and do another hour video <laughs> talking about my knits. But next time that I come on here, I want to have finished, I'm going to have finished this dress. Hopefully have finished some other things and tapped into some other whips that have been lingering this will be the year of finishing things and less shopping that's the goal we are in a saving mode I'm gonna get it done but anyways you guys have happy rest of the day happy knitting happy crafting whatever that may be stay positive okay i know the world is you know what and it's not gonna get any better know that so the only thing that you can control is yourself all right bye